Okay. Another new mod uh, from Exila. I'll leave a link in the description below. No penguin cards being handed out. Um, I'm running these, the GT3 cars, but historic GT3 cars. If there is such a thing as historic GT3 cars. So the pack includes the Renault Sport RS01, Mercedes Benz SLS AMG GT3, the McLaren MP4 12C, and the uh, Audi, 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 Audi R8. LMS, there you go. That's all of them, and I'm running them with one of um, Thunder Flash's GT3 packs just to see how they stack up. Five laps, on we go. So, car model wise, beautiful as always. Go, go, go! Let's drop the trash control to zero, and let's get in with them. Full field of cars. We're starting from the back, AI is on 100 and medium. I'll try and point out, well, let's be honest, all of these cars are going to be uh, pretty not standard to what your GT3s are, they're all mods. So you're going to see BMW M4s and Lamborghinis in here, Bentleys, if we can get up that far, and uh, Aston Martins, a host of stuff just to mix it up. Now the thing I like about this mod is these historic GT3s um, are a lot more seat your pants. You move around a lot more than your average modern GT3 which is controlled by Massa. NASA. Massa? NASA? Who the hell's Massa? Is he a footballer or an F1 driver? I can't remember. But yeah, they move around a lot more, so they're a bit more old school. A little bit more nice to drive. I'm not a big fan of standard GT3s, but these, yeah, I'm into them. They're, they're pretty good. I can feel what the car's doing what I don't like about standard GT3s. So try and get through, so the, the kind of the BOP with threads from the flash mod is spot on. The track temperature is falling, it's now 18 Celsius. We're running quite happily with them, okay, and then with us, focus. Keep the AI is really good in both. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Clear around. That was, uh, that was, yeah, dive bomb. This is what happens when I tell them. It's now 12. Think about what I'm doing. I'm trying to drive a hugely powerful car around an old historic track. Watch some great paint schemes on them by quite a famous skin maker and the cars out really well sorted by Exeter I'm pronouncing that all wrong but hey it's nothing new Adverse camera on this corner, it's horrible. So catch up on the Porsche. Right. We're making right. a stick around the outside. Right side. Clear right. I need to close the door, but. Just not enough grip. Sixth place, track temperatures decreasing. It's now 14 Celsius. No, 
Now some of these cars have got blue flames, blue exhaust flames. Not seeing any yet. Just thought I'd mention it. It's pretty funky on track when they uh, downshift. On the back of the SLS. And the Lamborghini. Just decided to uh, drive down the middle of the track and close both options. No, don't do it again. Stay over there. SLS. So these are running under the uh, names AI system as well. As you can probably tell us the way the cars are spread out, racing in their own little packs, depending on their uh, level on the car. Come on, come on. So, got the Merc chasing out the BMW here. He's closed the inside door off to me. down the Ferrari up in front. So if you want to kind of um, increase the field of cars you uh, race against in GT3, it's got you covered. There is so many uh, options with Thunder Flash and these packs as well. Um, you swell for choice really. This is your bag. And I've got to say, I do enjoy driving the older GT3 classes a little less clinical not the uh, traction control off and uh, fill your boots so you try and get around the mirrored one right side hold your line okay where are you still there clear right where are you left the door open slightly not enough Right, look back here. Just. Finally come up across one of the R8s. Possibly. So we're just at the edge of the grip. That corner just drops away down the hill. It's uh, really hard to judge your grip levels. Because they slowly ever way. Yep, one of the, uh, the Audis. Keep looking for the rear view mirror if there isn't one. Probably because there's a big engine in the way. Flames, that's definitely one of the uh, dealers uh, R8 in front. It's slightly different to the one we passed. It's an earlier model, much more rounded at the back. But it's 
that's uh, chasing down that Lamborghini. And it's well in the middle of the field. Get ready for the uh, blue flames. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll leave links in the uh, description below. Well worth taking uh, checking this mod out. Uh, if you're into your GT3s, then it's a no-brainer. If you're not into your GT3s, check it out because it drives a bit old school. Right, thanks for watching. Adios.